Hi everybody, this is Lorenzo from lorenzcafeca.com and today I want to show you how to make a cool animation using the Collette Deformer in a Cinema 4D. Let's get started! So, here we are in a Cinema 4D and uh, first of all let's create a new disk. Now we can switch orientation for example plus X. Alright, so Then we can increase the rotation segments, for example, 85, and disk segments, for example, 30. All right, now let's go to the reformer tab and let's create a new collision reformer. Then let's go to the colliders tab. So now select collision, and drag and drop into the disk object. So now let's create a new platonic. Set platonic sides, for example, radius like 25. All right, now we can drag the platonic into the collision tab. Go to the object tab and set up file of tab, for example, like collider. Then we can change the strength, for example, 115% and set up the restore shape, for example, like 5%. All right, so if we want to create a shock wave, we can add a viewpoint on this tab. We can do this by press hold down the control and left mouse button. So as you can see, we created a shock wave. Alright, now if you like we can create a new subdivision surface, select disk and make us a child of the subdivision surface. Then <coughs> now we can animate the scene. Um, so we need to increase the frames like 300 frames or 10 seconds. Right, select platonic and set zero frame and add a new frame. Then right now select 300 frame or 10 seconds and drag the platonic and if would you like we can add the rotation. So Select RH like 360 degrees, RP and RB, for example. And add a new frame. Alright, now double click and let's create a new material. Switch off color and check on luminance. Alright, now let's go to the texture layer. Click and let's go to the shader and let's create a new Fresnel. It's like gray and like yellow, for example. Drag a little bit. Let's 
go back and let's go to the shader and let's create a new first nail again and select color like black then let the color like white black again black and white then add black for example and again all right now let's go back and select snell overlay and set like first right now check on transparency select break next like 97 percent and check on additive and then check on glow and set up other strength like 100 percent and radius like 13 centimeters their strength like 10 percent add new material now let's go to the create shader and select the chain right now switch off roughness and increase the blue and white for example and check on reflection Right, so now add this color at the platonic. Then double click and let's create a new material again. A switch off reflection. Let's create a color, select texture, and select gradient. Then set type like 2D circular and set color like red. Then add new color and like yellow and add a new color like black. All right, now. Let's create a new sky and add new material. Uh, drag color a little bit. Right now, let's go to the render settings, set up the optut like video and HDTV. So, from range all frames, let's go to save and select the path. Alright, now select format like QuickTime Movie. Let's go to the effect, effect tab, and uh, Add the global illumination, <coughs> then add ambient occlusion. Right, so select simple like low and low again. Gamma like one. Right, so Now we can set up the antenna leasing and select jump, uh, select best settings. All right, that's all.
right now if would you like we can add a new camera animation Alright, drag the view a little bit and add the new frame. So rotate and scale a little bit and Add the new frame again. Let's select and rotate again and add a new frame. Alright, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more tutorials like this.